Hey guys, my name is Matt Minter here with Consortium Networks. In this installment of CrowdStrike Tech Tips, we will take a look at building out a simple query using CQL, CrowdStrike's query language, as well as look at some more advanced queries that we can build um, by CrowdStrike themselves. So let's go ahead and get into it. As we can see here, we are on the advanced event search page within the Falcon console. A couple ways of getting here, you can go to NextGen Seam. Under log management, look at advanced event search. And then we can also go to investigate under search, advanced event search, few ways of getting here. So we're gonna go ahead and look at a pretty simple use case for a CQL query. It'll be a looking for all DNS requests on the Windows, on all Windows hosts. So we'll go ahead and get started here with doing a event simple name, which is essentially looking at the name of an event that we're going to do, which will be DNS requests. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to look at event underscore simple name equals DNS request. So like I said, this will look for all DNS requests observed in the environment, but we want to be a little bit more specific. So we're going to go ahead and pipe and look at just Windows hosts. So we're going to do an event underscore platform. And as you can see there, um, it also has great autofill capabilities. Um, so if you need help trying to autofill what you're trying to look for. And then we're going to do Windows. And for this, it is case sensitive, so make sure that we keep it at capital W for when. Awesome. Next, we're going to look at the time interval here. Uh, we're going to keep it at 30 days, but just keep in mind there are multiple different time intervals that you can do, as well as a fixed time range if you want to do that as well. But we're going to do 30 days for the time being. That will go ahead and run the query here. And as you can see, it outputted data all in uh, JSON format. So this is JSON format. Awesome. Um, pretty simple query. Um, the output is also pretty simple. It's just JSON format. Uh, a few things we can do here. Um, we can see that we can all export the data by going to save, export to file. Uh, a few file type uh, possibilities here. You can do CSV, JSON. Um, delimited JSON, plain text, and then give the name, give it a name, um, you know, DNS, DNS requests on Windows hosts. Awesome. And then you can go ahead and click this export button. I'm not going to do that here. That is uh, a pretty simple query, um, you know, built using CQL. And we will go ahead and get into a uh, a little bit more of the advanced features and a little bit more of a uh, bulky query. All right, now we're going to take a look at a bit of a more advanced query that you can make with CQL. Um, use case for this query that I uh, that I have here is that it will actually look for it'll it'll look through all your hosts you know linux mac windows and look for when the support for that os ends for the crowdstrike sensor so we can kind of just break down this query here kind of show you the key key areas of how this is um, functioning um, and how it's kind of possible that it's able to kind of search for when the support ends for these os's um, so I already ran this query last 30 days. It is run. Uh, the results are down here with the platform version family supported account release date support ends in a nice little table here. Summarizing, you know, what platforms we have, the version families, um, is it supported or not? So you can already see here that we have a Mac in this environment that's not supported. Uh, how many hosts that were involved, the release date, and when the support ends or ended. So as you can see here with that no on the support for this, this specific Mac, uh, it ended there. Awesome, few points here in this query that I'm gonna show. Uh, group by, that will essentially group these fields together so you can search more accordingly. And then one piece here I wanted to go over was this match file equals Falcon investigate sensor support info.csv. So a cool, powerful thing you can do with 
queries and searching and everything is the ability to do have lookup files. So this is essentially a lookup file here. Um, this sensor support info.csv that was provided as kind of a, a, a CSV database by CrowdStrike. So if we go to the lookup files, um, you know, from Mexican Seam, you can go to log management lookup files. You can actually look for that file and see that it is in this uh, lookup file database in the Falcon console. That's pretty cool. Um, and that is able to essentially discover end of support for these platforms and devices and, and uh, version families and everything. It's able to figure out um, these dates accordingly. So that's just a great example of showing how you can use lookup files in your queries to pull information to use in your in your output in your tables. Um, so this is a uh, a bit of more advanced query. Um, as you can see here, it's got a lot of uh, moving parts. You know, group by with the match file. Um, it's using a repository of the sensor metadata, data source, uh, AID master, um, and then API as well. Um, so awesome. Yeah, that's that's the kind of general workings of how that works. That's the use case. You know, if you want to find your different platforms, OSs that are end of sport, you do that accordingly. Um, once again, you can save this. You can export it to a file. Um, as you can see there, we can also create a dashboard widget there, which we'll get into with the custom dashboard video. Um, but that that's kind of the general workings of, of how you make a simple CQL query, as well as looking at a more advanced query and seeing what we can do with it. Um, CQL is a very powerful tool um, for investigations, uh, threat hunting, all that good stuff, uh, utility. So that is the Crash Tech tip on querying with CQL. Hope you enjoyed.